Uh, I know that we're both animal lovers. My girl's Isabu, your baby's Bronco. Mm -hmm. Did you bring me a picture? You have some moving I'm pictures better, of the I baby? I got a video. Ah! Where's the baby? He's coming. This was me surprising him after not seeing oh! him there. Uh, all of baseball season. Oh! This is after several months of not seeing him. And oh. oh, look at how excited he is. Oh! And who's the other puppy? That's an, a, a friend of his that we're having a play oh, date. Oh, they were having a play date. <laughs> Bless. Oh. We got to send some a doggy bag home for Bronco, please. Our team is on it. Doggy bag for Bronco. <laughs> Okay, so Tim, this is number four, right? This book? Mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah. I am. And he's a New York Times bestseller. So this is the day. I mean, it, it, it's kind of self-evident by the, the, the subtitle is Reclaim Your Dream, Ignite Your Passion, and Live Your Purpose. But give us the bones of the book and what it meant to you, what this project meant to you, well, this book. I feel like everyone has a dream, has a passion, has a goal, and I also believe everyone has a purpose uh, of why they're here. And I want to encourage people to not listen to the naysayers, the doubters, and all the reasons why you don't go after things, but encourage people to go after their dreams, to fight for what's right, to have a life of meaning, significance, and purpose. To have a life of meaning, I think, is a big one for me. Do you think every person is born with a specific passion or purpose, or can that be discovered at any point in life? I think it can be discovered at any right? point in life. And I think, and too I think often, it can change. Right, and I think too often in America, we are such a kind of a youth-oriented, you know, we celebrate youth so much here, that people forget you get to live your whole life. You do. You can you can always become yes. your next you, right? That, that's exactly right. And that's something that I want to encourage people with is it's, you know, you can also find that in anything that you do. There can be purpose in anything you do. And some people think, well, I don't have as significant of a platform or a role, but you can find that purpose in whatever it is that you do. And also to encourage people to go after your dream, to go after what's on your heart, to go after what you think God has in store for you. And so you're a fighter, you're a believer, you're not just living on your heels, that person that wakes up and you just can't wait to get through your day. No, I want to wake up and I want to, I want to thrive in my yeah. day. So, of course, a person like Tim has a foundation. Give everybody an update on it. Well, it's called the Tim Tio Foundation. Wow, and very creative. Yeah, Tim. we really threw a mix in there. Um, <laughs> No, but we have eight initiatives, and some of our biggest is we have a hospital where we take care of uh, kids with um, illnesses, and we bring them in there free of charge. Uh, we have a Night to Shine, which you're seeing right now, which is a worldwide prom for people with special needs. So this last year we had like, five. Just think about what that means, to bring in children from all over the world with special needs and let them have the prom night of everyone's dreams. It's my favorite night of the year. But, but one of my favorite parts about Night to Shine is that it's not just for high school age kids. I mean, we've had people that are 80 years old wow. go to their first prom ever and be wow. celebrated. And is that your favorite night of the year? Do you get to go to prom night every is the, year? It's not even close. I didn't go to prom in high school, so I'm getting it in now. But <laughs> it is by far my favorite night of the year. And it's my favorite night because we get to throw the biggest party in every city pretty much in the States, in 20 countries around the world. And for a lot of these kids, or, or some adults, right. they, they've, never been, they've never been celebrated. They've never che been cheered for. They've never been clapped for. And we know what it's like. And so many of you know what it's like. But they've never been the recipient of an award, of a prize, of walking down a red carpet. And so we're throwing the biggest red carpet there, you know, on the grandest stage to, to celebrate them. Tell you, Tim. That doesn't sound like something that's real. It sounds like something that Disney made up and put in a movie. I think that it, that's definitely one of your purposes on this planet was to bring that to life. It's, it's life-changing. When someone realizes that they're worthy, it's life-changing.